Biographies of Green Party MPs have been reviewed following scrutiny around Gauri's Garaman's legal history. The party maintains the MP has done nothing wrong, but information on its website has now been changed to show she defended war criminals as a young lawyer as well as prosecuted them. With more, here's our political reporter, May Heron. Gauri's Garaman has been open about the work she did for the United Nations, which included defending Simon Bikindi, a man charged with genocide and crimes against humanity in Rwanda. But what's drawn particular criticism is the MP's 300-word bio on the Green Party website, which omitted her role in the defence and focused on her success in putting world leaders on trial. Ms Garman says representation for both sides are crucial for a fair justice system. My work on defence and prosecution has always been equally a point of pride for me. I mean, I was inspired by the Nuremberg trials to become a lawyer, you know, where we said to the Nazis, you're not above the law, genocide is a crime, but we're not going to be tyrants. A photo has also emerged of Ms Garman posting next to one of the war criminals she defended. But again, New Zealand's first refugee MP maintains that's OK. Every person, including those that are accused of very egregious crimes, are, are entitled to a trial and they're entitled to be considered innocent until proven guilty. And I would essentially be letting down the human rights framework if I thought anything other than that. Despite the Green leader James Shaw insisting his MP has done nothing wrong, the party has moved quickly to assess the other biographies on its website. The Greens are particularly sensitive to any accusations of a cover-up following the resignation of their former leader, Materia Ture, earlier this year. James Shaw says Ms Gutterman has done nothing wrong. I knew about um, the cases that, uh, that Gauri's had worked. I have no problem with people uh, you know, upholding the justice system in that way. Um, and, yeah, so I, I think that, you know, part of this is politically motivated. When asked yesterday, the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern wouldn't comment. Oh, I actually haven't seen those comments, so I've, I've got no statement to make on that. The national leader, Bill English, says it's a matter for the public and voters to judge. The information that's come out gives a different picture than the impression that maybe may have been created, but that's really a matter for the, her party and her, the public to sort out. This is not the first time the new MP has made headlines for the wrong reasons. Earlier this month, Golri's Garaman accidentally sent an internal email containing caucus notes to another media outlet. From Parliament for Checkpoint, May Heron.